Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the CyanogenMod 10 Alpha 6 Jelly Bean ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. So this ROM is still in alpha state, so you're going to run into some bugs. Make sure you check out my review video before uh, if you want to uh, see what works, what doesn't, and see it in action. So I'll link to that. But anyways, let's go ahead and install it. So uh, first of all, the developer recommends that you are on a gingerbread kernel with a gingerbread based recovery. Uh, he doesn't recommend uh, installing this with an ice cream sandwich based recovery. I know that it has been said that it is completely safe. But uh, apparently some people have reported they've had issues, so I am going to recommend being on a gingerbread kernel. I can uh, link to a specific kernel that will work. You can flash it through Odin or mobile Odin. Just put it in the PDA slot of Odin on your PC. Put your phone in download mode and flash it, and that will give you the correct uh, recovery. So. Uh, you can do that or any other way you want basically to get that EL26 kernel or that EL29 direct boot kernel, those two kernels that are safe via gingerbread. So you're going to need to make sure you are on that. Just kind of wanted to let you guys know because that is what the developer recommends. But once you are, um, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description will take you to the Android Central website. Go ahead and scroll down. First of all, big, big shout out and thanks to Dark Knight 2. I also want to give a big shout out and thanks to everyone else involved, including Chris41G, Cyanjamod Team, Fit Snugly, Dark Star, Shabby Penguin, Team Cyanjamod, Google, Samsung, and everyone else involved. So big shout out and thanks to them. Um, I actually made a how-to video earlier this morning. Um, I didn't get a chance to upload it, uh, but it was for Alpha 6. But now it is on Beta 1, so I'm going to go ahead and update it real quick. So when I'm installing it on my device, you might see me installing Alpha 6, but the method is the exact same for Beta 1. Uh, again, with updates too, it should work just fine. But again, go ahead and download uh, where it says Sinjamod 10 Beta 1 right there. So click on that. Uh, link you might have to make a Ford shared account to download it so go ahead and do that as well uh, download beta 1 and also scroll down and you'll see dark Knights jelly bean G apps download here click on that and download that as well so you're gonna need to download both of those zip files the ROM itself and the G apps so make sure you download both of those and transfer them on over to your phone all right, and now once we're back to our device and we have those zip files on our phone, before we go into our custom recovery, I'm going to recommend getting a GPS lock on your device. So make sure you turn on GPS um, and Wi-Fi or whatever if you're on 3G. Go into the Maps application and up at the top of the Maps application, you'll see the GPS icon right here. Um, it could be blinking, um, but once it stops blinking, that means you have a GPS lock. Once you have that GPS lock, while it's locked, go ahead and press and hold the power button and power off your phone and hit OK. So um, it'll go ahead and basically power off your device while you're locked on GPS. That should help with GPS working on CM10, so that's why I recommend doing this. I mean, it should, if you have issues with any GPS, uh, any ROM with GPS, go ahead and try this method and it should help. Uh, so go ahead and let it power off and then we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. So once it powers off, go ahead and press and hold volume up and the power button at the same time. Keep it held down until the first Samsung screen lights up. Keep holding it. And then go ahead and let go once it lights up. And then it should take us into our custom recovery. Again, it should be uh, a gingerbread based recovery because that is what the developer recommends, so that's what I'm recommending. So you'll see Clockwork Mod Recovery 5.0.2.7 right here. I believe I have the EL26 kernel um, installed, so that's basically what I went ahead, the method I used. Um, anyways, now what you can do is you can make an Android backup. You're gonna need to make sure you have the same recovery to restore that Android backup, so you can go to Backup and Restore and make an Android backup if you'd like. But to install this ROM, Go ahead and go to where it says Wipe Data Factory Reset and press the power button and select it. Actually, uh, if you're in this recovery, what you need to do is actually to get power button to work, go ahead and go to the top, go up, down, up, down until it says back menu button enabled and then we're ready to go. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, now once your power button works, go to Wipe Data Factory Reset and hit yes. Delete all user data. Again, this is going to wipe everything, so make sure you have your apps, contacts, etc., everything backed up that you do need. And there we go, data wipe is complete. Now go ahead and go to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. So go ahead and wipe your cache and then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes. So wipe your data, your cache, your Dalvik cache. Once done with all three of those, hit go back. 
installs it from SD card, choose it from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you transfer that file on over, go ahead and select it, and then go ahead and navigate to that ROM zip file, the uh, whatever the ROM zip file is called. As you can see, mine's called 10 2012 730 dark Knight alpha 6.zip select it and hit yes install so again wipe data wipe cache wipe valve cache install the rom zip um, it's going to take a little bit of time all right so the rom is done installing as you can see install from sd card complete we are not done yet go back to choose zip from sd card and find that g apps add-on that google apps add-on that we just downloaded um, it should be called, let's go ahead and find it, it should be called G Apps JB 2012 729 Science Zip or later, so it depends on when you download it. But go ahead and install that G Apps add-on, that separate zip that uh, you needed to install. So go ahead and let that load on up. Prepping system, uh, it shouldn't take as long as the ROM, but it will take a bit of time, so be patient with this uh, G Apps add-on. All right, so that G Apps add-on is done, now we are all done. So go ahead and hit go back and then reboot system now. And go ahead and reboot your Epic 4G Touch, and once rebooted, you will be running that CM10 Jelly Bean ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm gonna be doing a separate review vid video going over different things, talking about uh, bugs and such, so very cool boot animation there. Uh, makes me think that this was ported over and uh, from a different device, since it doesn't have that signage and mod boot animation. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and let it boot up. Again, awesome Jelly Bean boot animation. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.